These are some scary words. These are some scary words, and they are words that uh, the people of the time that were first hearing them were living in a way that most of us have not. They were living in a situation in which Christianity itself was illegal, in which Christianity was in many ways being opposed by the Jews because they had worked really hard to gain acceptance, and it was being opposed by the Romans because it claimed an authority higher than the emperor. So at the time that the first hearers were hearing this, they were hearing, this is what's going to happen. And how many of us are going to join up for someone who says, oh, by the way, you'll be put to death, and you'll be criticized, and you'll be, you know, disowned by your parents. I mean, how many of you are going to be like, yeah, sign me up? Okay, I mean, it's just not a picture of something with which most of us are uh, encouraged. But what it is a picture of is saying that as this happens, I am with you. As you are disowned by family, as you are persecuted, as you are ridiculed, as you are criticized, as you are suffering, I am with you. It's not meant to be a recruiting strategy. What it is, is intended to be a voice of hope. So in those moments where we lose hope, where we feel hopeless, we are reminded that God is right there with us, that God is standing by us in those most difficult situations. As I warned you uh, in the welcome, I'm going to pass out a piece of paper and I'm going to ask you to write down one or more of your most pressing fears. And what we're going to do, Brad has graciously agreed to be my assistant this morning. We're going to take those out, and we have a rock and a bowl to lay those papers of fear on and let them burn so that the smoke can rise to God and so that we can remember that even our most powerful fears. Those things that may occur on days where you say, I, I, I don't even know how to get up today. Or I don't even know how to, whatever it is that you have to do. That God is more powerful than those fears. So, here's your paper. I also have pens if you need any. Yes, this is participatory. Okay, that's not for our fire. Take one and pass. Take one and pass. Nobody's going to read these. These are not. These are not for me. These are not for anybody else. These are to lift up to God because we live with them. There is not one person here who isn't living with some or another fear. And then I asked Fulton if the ashes that we could grind and contribute, and who knows, maybe somebody will use an SR to fly. And that's what I'm saying. Our fears lifted up to God can also be used for some reason. Are you gesturing to me that I need to give out pens? This one was stolen from the high. I'll take I again. Oh, I don't even know. I just grabbed a handful. Uh oh, you're really in trouble. You stole this from the Cardinal. Is it really? Yes. The Cardinal Love. Here's one from the congregation I was at in more paper. Oh, paper? Is paper still going around? No. Oh, there's more paper. Thank you. I might have given more paper to the other There's more paper here. Okay, pen. Here's more. 
Anybody need to watch? Thank you. 
said she's running away. Kingston? She's in the kitchen taking care of stuff. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Means we all fold in our papers too tight. I
Moses is have hope. Have hope that regardless of what you're facing, regardless of what you expect to be facing, regardless of what you envision facing, there is hope because there is resurrection beyond that. There is resurrection beyond the worst of the worst. There is recovery and elevation from those fears that we lift it up to God. So I ask you to pray with me that even as Christ was lifted up on the cross, we too might be lifted up regardless of what our worst of times are. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the witness of millennia of Christians who witness to your gift of hope, who witness to your presence, and to witness to your answer in the face of all that we fear. In Jesus' name we pray.